All right, so in this video, we're going to be showing you what our personal opinion is on the best drills on the market are. That's right. My name's Clayton. And I'm Karsten. And we are the Plumbing Gurus. And on this channel, we're striving to save you money and keep you all informed of all the proper plumbing practices that we like to use. That's right. And hey, if you're new to this channel, maybe consider smashing that subscribe button, hit that bell button to get any notifications of any future videos. Let's do this. All right, welcome back everyone. So we're gonna jump right into some impact drills here. So we got the M18, sorry, this is the M12 and the M18 here. Um, awesome drills. This one packs, it's such a small drill, but it packs a huge bunch of power, a lot of power. And it's got three different settings. It's got one for drill bits, one for slow. So it's good for a lot of torque there. And you got the second speed, which is good for, you know, get, uh, you know, I'd say about two, two inch screws in. But the one that we use all the time is the number three. And that thing will just like, you gotta be careful with it because it's it really, really fast. And it's got a lot of torque to this, for this little drill here. And um, <clears throat> it's got a little light on the side here that will show you the battery power, which is pretty sweet. And it's got a little LED light on the front there. So it kind of gives you a little extra lighting on what you're kind of drilling into or what you're screwing into, I should say. And it also has a little hook on the side here that you can clip to your tool belt, or in this case, you can hook right up to your jeans, just like that. For a walk up a ladder and bring your drill with all the other stuff on your back. Yeah. Really awesome drill, we love it. And we're gonna get into it, we're gonna show you how fast this thing will drill uh, three inch screws In comparison to the M18. In, in a minute here. And then we got right. the M18. <clears throat> the M18 is pretty much, um, pretty close to the same on the actual battery itself it'll tell you your battery life so it doesn't have that little bar on the side um this guy here has got just three different settings um i believe um so it's got one two and then three so one it's got the slow a lot of torque uh, if you're doing like a big hex nut or something that you just yeah, impacting in um, two, like I said, it's for you know, I would say medium screws or so. Three would be for three inch screws and above. It just kind of sh a lot of a lot of speed on this head when that thing is rolling, as you can as you can hear. And it's got a sweet little clip on the side as well that you can use to hook on your tool belt or uh, your tool pouch or your jeans, just like that. Or on your ladder if you just want to hook it up on the ladder. After yeah, you between. could you could rake something up on your ladder and just have it hook right on the side of your ladder, just like that. That's right. Uh, really awesome drill. It's it's, it's it, it, it does look a little big, but it's actually really light, really easy to kind of work with. Um, really good for like, you know, if you got to build a deck or whatever and you want to get a lot of deck screws in. Really good drill for that. We use, I use this for all like my three inch screws that I'm doing for backing for plumbing and stuff for sure, showers yeah. and tubs or whatever that we're doing for, uh, for backing. And you can also use this um, with the uh, uh, drill bit, the one, the Bosch bit here. Um, we'll show you that after though, but show you can put drill, that on. Yeah. yeah, you can put that on. It's got a little quick. Yeah, the quarter inch quick connect. Yeah, Actually, they just, they show how quick it just goes in. Quarter no inch quick connect. In there. It just slides right in. It's locked in. There we go, locked in. Yep. Now, we don't, I don't prefer to use uh, this as a drill because it just spins so fast. And it's, and, and it's really noisy and the yeah. wood just kind of flies everywhere down your shirt. and it's uh, much slower too. Behind your safety glasses and stuff. And it's actually a little slower uh, in some cases. So, That's right. uh, and look how easy that is. It just kind of comes apart just like that. And, um, <clears throat> but we'll throw this back on. So what do you got there, Carson? Well, right here, and uh, if you guys are interested in any of these drills, we're going to put in a link in the descript description below for you guys to maybe pick them up if yeah. you're looking to get one of check these. Check it out, check it out. Um, so this one is the same idea as the little impact. It's an M12, takes the small batteries. It can take that little guy too. Those ones last much longer. These are the 4.0 M12s. And the nice thing about these batteries, it stands, whereas this one, it doesn't. Mm -hmm. uh, this is just like a standard drill. Let's it's switch got it a out, standard we'll chuck. show them how it stands. It's got a standard on. chuck on this one. So yeah, if you're, this one, this drill is really good if you're just doing light duty stuff. Uh, let's say you're a mill worker doing some cabinets or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Really nice and small. Uh, we use this for certain scenarios. It's really nice to have, just nice and light in your tool bags. You're not lugging around a bunch of these big heavy ones if you're just doing little jobs. Uh, again, like the other ones there, it's got a little clip there. Put her on your, your pants, Nice. holds on. It's got two settings, low and high, but it's also got a hammer drill. This little guy's got a hammer nice. drill. So you can drill concrete with this. Yeah, so if you're, doing, uh, inserts or if you're doing inserts on tile or inserts on concrete, if you're just doing tiny ones, I, I highly doubt it's gonna do big ones, but mm -hmm. if you just do a little small drill bits like eighth inch or quarter inch, you could probably drill through some concrete with that for sure. Mm -hmm. And it's got lower settings to, uh, if you're gonna chuck it out to, 
if you need to do like just certain torque or something yeah, like that. Yeah, it's court torque sped it's on. It's just on the a torque, yeah. yeah. So that's, it's got pretty good torque for a little guy. If you put it on one and you put it on just straight drill setting, that's got lots of torque there. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, and the same thing. It's got the, they all have the little battery life thing. Nice. And these are all fuel drills, brushless, so they're very well built. Mm -hmm. You could use them very for a long durable. time and they stay, they stay cool. Been using Milwaukee for probably 10 plus years now and I absolutely love them. These brushless ones, they've really done well with all of them. A big improvement. So yeah. this guy here, this is I believe the third generation fueled uh, M18. That's a pretty sweet drill. This guy looks tiny. When I first bought it, actually I got it, uh, it was actually free with like this, this sweet deal that I got. And I put it in, I actually wasn't going to use it and then someone told me how much more powerful it was. This thing has got some serious torque. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. can barely hold on to that thing. Um, it is also a hammer drill, so this will actually drill some bigger holes if you're looking to do some bigger concrete anchors. If you're not looking to plug in a corded one, if you're just looking to do some quick inserts. Right. It's really good for that. Again, it's got the same uh, hook as everything else, but a sweet bonus about this one is it's got a little bit holder. And you can actually switch these if you're, you know, left-handed like I am. Right. But uh, it holds the bit really nice, takes the big batteries, it, it's also got the the uh, the light on the front down here, LED light. which actually nice. I like better because then it doesn't get where they used to be here. They just kind of like, it doesn't show the light as much. Right. Like these ones, the light's there. You don't see as much. Whereas this one, kind of the light, up. the shines, it's kind of shining up into the see. darkness. So yeah. it's really good that way. Uh, again, super small. Like this thing is tiny. It's okay. not well, much bigger than the M12. And this thing's got some serious torque. I love nice. this thing. Well, what do you say? Let's, uh, you want to do some drilling and some screwing let's, around? Let's drill some holes. Let's do this, yeah. Go. All right, so we're going to take off the M12 impact drill. We're going to show you guys exactly how this thing works. Now, the, you're going to be really impressed. This is a three inch screw, okay? We're going to set it, we have it on set number, uh, number three on this drill. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to punch this screw. I'm just going to get it started here. Now watch this. Watch how fast this thing goes in. Look at that. Yeah, I'll do another one here. That one skipped a little bit because it's so fast. Yeah, you got to, that's what I'm saying. Like this drill's got so much power, you got to be careful with it on number three. Like, look at this. Look at that. This little drill. Now I'm going to show you right away. I'm going to show you the M18 now. Watch this one. This is on setting number three as well. And here we've got a nice Milwaukee bit and it's got a little magnet on it, it's nice. So we're gonna punch this through. I'll just get it started here just like that and I'll watch this. See that? Now, <clears throat> the difference is, it's about the similar speed, I would say. The difference is, is that with this bigger drill, I have a lot more control of my bit in the screw. So it's a lot easier to do like angles, I would say with a longer uh, drill bit for speed as well. But it's just, a, just a, the bigger drill just kind of helps to get a little bit more control on the actual head of the screw. So we'll just unscrew that out there. And uh, yeah, so those are those two drills in action. All right, so I get to do the, the drills themselves. I love these little bits. I'm gonna use the little bit for this little drill because like I said, if you're using bigger ones, it's a little bit tougher. But this little guy will definitely drill through this wood like it's nothing. So the good thing about this is it's small, compact, get into nice tight places. Super smooth. Let's even try a little bit bigger of a bit and see how it does. So we got this M12 drill that just loves to just rips through like it's nothing. Let's do uh, this M18, that big one that I talked about that's got all kinds of torque. This is a bit of a different bit. We got the spade bit, it's the Bosch. So it's not quite as quick, but these things like the shred too. So let's see what it does. Wow, that was some serious power. Let's uh, pop this inch and a quarter Irwin on one out here. And like I said, we're gonna have a link in the description below for all this stuff, these bits and the drills, so you can check them out. Uh, let's just see what happens here. So there you might have to put it into one. Well, that's some serious torque. All right, so safety first. We're not gonna do this anymore. Somebody might get hurt. <laughs> But those drills, they got some serious power. We love these. This guy here, I use it all the time. 
Love using this one, as you saw there, great for water lines, especially in tight places. It's, it's not even that much smaller, but it's super light. And that's what's beauty about this is actually it's pretty close to the same size, to be honest. So love these guys. All right, so now we've demonstrated the power and, uh, and how uh, fast and how efficient these drills are. Um, we'd just like to give a huge thank you for everyone to watching our videos. We hope you guys got some value out of this one. Um, if you haven't yet, uh, smash that subscribe button. Don't forget. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. See you on the next one. Take care.